So guys, I'm in Altona and it's 3.59 p.m. Come and have a look at this, guys. So I've got my floor leveling device here. We've got the moisture meter. We've got the thermal camera. Have a look at this here. It's plus 14 mil. So if I go to the front door, and chuck this here, look at this, minus three mil. Wow, massive drop from here to here. Now take a look at what happens outside. Wow, nice dinner table. And then, nice crack. Look at this movement joint. Now they're meant to be 10 mil. Have a look at this. It's around 40 mil now. <laughs> it was 10 mil and now it's 40. And that's not all. Have a look at the other side. And also this is the neighbor side and this is the homeowner side. And have a look at what happened on this side now. Let me get the light up. Timber frame can be seen. Water's going inside the property, guys. Property under two years old. And look at what's happening. Now I'm gonna have to make my way all the way to the upper roof, so let's go. <laughs> Take a look at the shroud. They must have run out of silicon. All open. Not compliant, duck. This overflow duct is non-compliant. It's not even 200 mil wide. Let's go up even higher. And oh my God, non-compliant, non-compliant, non-compliant. Look at me, properties, non-compliant everywhere. I can smell non-compliant works in the air. So this is the partition section. Look at that. I can see the timber frame. Oh my God, poor homeowners, for real. What is this, guys? What is this? And obviously, it's polystyrene, cladding. Oh. So have a look at the overflow here as well, the duct, it's non-compliant as well. Let's have a look at the neighbour here as well, what's going on. Look at that, the neighbour side is even open. Oh my god. These guys have got water leaks 100% or. In there, non-compliant works over there as well. Wherever I look, left, right, down. Oh my god, non-compliant as well. How many times do you want me to say this? Minimum 600 mil for a high capacity sump overflow. This overflow device is non-compliant as well. My god. Looks like someone has to go back to trade school. Starting to rain, man. I better get down soon. But I gotta keep looking for defects. Take a look what they've done with this capping. <laughs> Let me get a bit of light there. Wow. So I really like to double check in case this machine is not working with the good old marble trick. Come on, yes, yes, come on, go, 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 yes, look at this. Go, go, yes, my marble's winning. Come on, go. Where is it going, mate? Oh my God. Look at this, guys. Oh no, how, how am I going to get it now? It's gone behind the TV. Oh man, where are you guys going? So it was around minus 16 there. Now we all saw that the marbles went all the way there. This means something's going on here. Let's take a look at the measurement. Minus 28. Oh my God. The maximum tolerance within one area, let's, say the, let's just say the kitchen area, for example, is 10 mil. Now here, we have minus 29 mil. Wow. It can't be more than 20 mil throughout the whole building. So, lucky this owner is still within the warranty period for floor levels, which is, which is 24 months. You know what, the marbles will also go in this way. So let's see what happens when I put my floor level survey in this position here. 37 mil. Oh my god. And now we'll be doing upstairs. Mm. Oh, they're going, down, they're going to go downstairs. Oh no. <laughs> yes, my one's winning. Come on, go, 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 go. Alright, let's check out how much it's at a level by. 
So let's start zero here and go all the way here. Uh, Minus 20. And then minus 33 <laughs> from there zero minus 20 and then minus 33 mil oh my god so i had a bit of walk around and i did notice that they're using this nice rain head that is a copy of dam buster rain head dambuster.com do have a patent for their product now these guys here have installed it which is basically they have no performance solution for this this is non-compliant rain head let's keep looking around i'm gonna keep walking around here central park station what a massive development with garden beds around the building line <laughs> when are the councils gonna learn and look at this nice overflow non-compliant as well so as you can see guys a lot of homes here a lot of non-compliant works how does this get passed i don't know